Come now and praise the humble saint of David's house and line, the carpenter whose life fulfilled our gracious God's design. The Virgin Mary, faithful spouse, the guardian of God's Son. Saint Joseph saw his dreams come true, the will of God was done. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear, lovely people, as you are aware, the public celebration of the Mass has been suspended throughout the whole province of Florida. And so now I greet you through the live stream. Even though the physical parish cannot be here, hopefully St. Paul is turning into a virtual parish where you can still remain connected to the Lord and we are doing the best we can in, in our own capacity to help you remain connected with the Lord. The situation obviously is not ideal, and I know that there are challenges and frustration, particularly in this moment of time when we need the grace of God the most. And so let us just stay connected spiritually and know that your parish community is here for you. Uh, the parish office is still open. Our staff is here to support you. As for the Mass, you know, we will continue to live stream daily Mass every day at 8.30. And on the weekend, we will live stream Mass uh, on Saturday at 4 p.m., the Spanish Mass at 7 p.m., and then on Sunday, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and 11 a.m. May God bless you and keep you and know that we are praying for you as well. This Holy Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Jacinto and Brigitta Camomot. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You were sent to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
reading from the book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I'll make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all the generations my mouth shall proclaim my, your faithfulness. For you have said my kindness is established forever. In heaven you confirmed your faithfulness. The son, the son of, of David, David will live, live forever. forever. I have made a covenant with the chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son, the son of, of David, David will live forever. forever. He shall save me. You are my Father, my God, my Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness towards him. My covenant with him stands firm. The Son, Son of David, David will live, live forever. forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so it may be a gift. And the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only hear the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham. Whoever is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, and calls into being those who do not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Praise and honor to you, O Lord, O Lord. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Praise and honor to you, O Lord, O Lord. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about, when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, good morning. This morning, 
Mother Church celebrates the solemnity of Saint Joseph, the husband of Mary and the foster father of our Lord Jesus Christ. All these years, whenever I reflected on the figure of Saint Joseph, I've always admired the fact that he was a man of so very few words. All throughout the scriptures, you don't hear him ever uttering a single word. But Joseph was a man of action. The Lord asked him, he simply carried out the Lord's will. When God turned his world upside down, all of his plan was changed. Perhaps Joseph never quite understood the grand plan that God had in mind for the salvation of humankind. Nonetheless, he obediently listened and carried out God's will. But given the, circ the current circumstance, the environment, the world in which we are living in at this very moment, I'd like to reflect with you on Joseph the man of crisis, the one who God put in charge to take care of different crises throughout the Lord's life. The first crisis, of course, was when Mary was found pregnant before she moved in with her betrothed. Had Joseph divorced Mary or exposed her, then Mary would have been stoned to death. And so the first crisis that Joseph had to solve was to take Mary in and take care of her. And then on their way to Bethlehem, there was no place for Mary to stay and give birth. So that's the second crisis that Joseph stepped up and took care of so that his wife might be able to give birth safely. And then when the Lord Jesus was sought after by King Herod to kill him, Joseph took his wife and his child in the middle of the night and fled to Egypt. All throughout his life, that's what Joseph was asked to do, to take care, to protect, to provide, and to solve and manage all the crises that life brought about. And so, in the midst of so much anxiety and fear that is floated around all around us, let's turn to St. Joseph, the patron of the universal church, the protector and pro provider of the Holy Family, and ask that St. Joseph would pray for us, God's Holy Family, that he may protect us from all harm and evil, that in the midst of all the fears and anxieties, God's peace and protection will be with all of us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. 
Amen. With trust and confidence, we turn to God our Father as we present to Him our prayers. We pray for Holy Mother Church. We pray for all those affected, all the churches that are closed. We pray for the people who are hungry for the nourishment of the sacraments. May the Lord continue to be with them and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the world plague with fear and anxiety at this moment, that the hand of the good Lord may continue to protect, to heal, and to restore. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are confined, who are lonely, who are suffering physically, mentally, emotionally. May the Lord be their comfort and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the St. Paul Catholic community, all of our parishioners. We pray that in this moment of time, we continue to remain connected and focus on fixing our eyes on the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Jacinto and Brigitta, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, our refuge and our strength, the source of all good, listen to these, the earnest prayers of your church and answer them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand, that we come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of our most holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbat, plenis uncelli et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memoir of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, St. Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever, and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, 
miserere nobis, anius Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only Lord, say, say the, the word, word and my soul, my soul shall, shall be healed. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know heed his voice so when you call your family Lord we follow and rejoice you satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat come give to us O saving Lord the bread of life to eat due to the fact that many of you are not able to physically receive Holy Communion I invite you to pray with me the spiritual communion prayer I believe that you O Jesus are in the most holy sacrament I love you and desire you. Come into my heart, I embrace you. Oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love. O Lord Jesus Christ, I beseech you, absorb my mind that I may die through love of your love, who were graciously pleased to die through love of my love. And in this moment of trials, we turn to our Blessed Mother, praying together the prayer that Pope Francis composed um, to pray for those affected by the coronavirus. O oh Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need and we are sure you will provide, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting. After this time of trial, help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection, under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. I thank you for your patience in the midst of all these transitions and changes. Every single day is a set of different instructions, and we're just trying the best we can but know that you are dear to my heart and I'm thinking about you and praying for you every day. And so let's keep each other in prayers. You know, even though you're not physically able to come to mass, turn to the scriptures, read the scriptures, pray the rosary. Especially this, uh, today, Pope Francis asked if throughout the whole world, we would join him, him in praying the rosary. Uh, for us here in the uh, Eastern time zone, it will be at 4 p.m try to join together in one celebration and pray to the Blessed Mother for our protection. Let us pray. O 
defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray the family you have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.